guys welcome back to another vlog so i look like a mess because i just came back from a hardcore gym sesh but um what do i want to talk to you about okay so pretty much i think some of you guys read my saturdays with stuff and i got a lot of feedback to be honest because they were like you know i i follow you on instagram steffy1385 and you're always smiling, you're always posting positive comments, but I didn't know deep down inside you were hurting. And the truth is, the only reason why I spoke about it is because I know so many people deal with depression and anxiety and they just really don't have an outlet or anyone to talk to. And if I can make someone feel less alone, then that's what I'm gonna do. I don't edit these vlogs. I don't write sugarcoating stuff. I tell it like it is. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. My emotions are raw and real. Because if I can get someone to be like, you know what, I feel less alone today because of Stephanie. Then you know what, my job on earth is totally done. I've done my job. Um, which brings me to the other night, my friend Nick. I love Nick to pieces because I think spiritually and soulfully we, we are connected because he has Steffi sense. He senses me. And um, he called me. He has no, he's one of those friends who freaking call and it's not like, what's up, you know? He calls. He may be busy with life and his family, but you know what? He always calls because he has Steffi sense. And he gave me the most beautiful, soulful, caring, kind, hardcore, put my ass in place lecture that at the end of the, the, the conversation, I just felt really blessed to be alive and blessed to have someone like him in my life and blessed because he made me see the bigger picture. I'm crying over things I cannot control. All I can do is my part and God's going to step in and do his part. I can't control everything. I can't cater to people. My biggest mistake was catering to people when I didn't have nothing. And, you know, I talked about being used. And you know what? I put people first and then I realized, hey. Frick, man, I'm second. That's not that's not good shit. And I'm just kind of over it. If you're not making effort with me, then I'm not going to make effort for, with you. That's just the way it is. I'm going to be 30 next year. I am so, like, 30. Like, it's scary and terrifying to know that I'm spending the last year of my 20s getting rid of people. Getting rid of things that I don't even want in my 30s. I have become a woman who I love to be around. I can spend time by myself. I go to lunch by myself. I shop by myself. I do things by myself and I'm okay with that because I'm so secure in my own skin. And I just want it to be happy. I just want to be happy, yo. I just want to be happy. I may be broke, but at least I'm freaking happy, you know? I have family. I have friends. I have people who will never let me go without a meal, without clothes on my back, who will just be there for me. Strangers who just go out of their way just to tell me I'm loved. Sometimes I forget I'm loved. And I'm just done catering to people but it feels so good to know that people love me despite my my status if that makes any sense i just i hope you guys know that if you tell your story and tell it truthfully you will change the world and i know at the end of the day i'm gonna be okay because I'm going to be happy. My priority in life is my own happiness. If I'm not happy, none of y'all are happy. And um, I need to start working on that. I need to stop pity party, Stephanie, and just be grateful. I see the sun. I have the most amazing people around me. And I kind of forgot that. I was being a selfish little prick. And I totally forgot that. And, um... Mm, I just hope that one of y'all look at this and just be like, you know what, go Steph. If she can do it, I can do it. She makes sense. Stop throwing a pity party for yourself. Is this a rant? I think this is a rant. 
Bye, guys.